Hey y'all, I'm Caspi and welcome back to my channel. So as we are entering in December, which is the holiday season, officially bridal season for year 2023 this year has finally slowed enough to where we can actually start working on some of the pieces that we have prepared for an upcoming fashion show. So a lot of these looks are going to be made out of pretty expensive uh, and difficult to use fabric and so that we can get out of the way all the mistakes and the fit adjustments and, and all of the kinks that need to be worked out that are inevitable within garment construction. Before we even cut it out of the fashion fabric, we're going to make together a mock-up version of at least one of the looks. So today, let's start by looking at the sketch. Okay, so looking at the sketch, you can see that we have this one-shouldered cocktail dress that has pleats that uh, lean towards the middle, which I think that is always very flattering. And then essentially, we're going to have the front panel that's pleated overlapping on top of this under panel. And then I didn't draw the back because I felt like it was pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then I think I also decided to do a side zipper probably right there. And so that's how she's going to get into it. So essentially, whenever my intern and I had a conversation about the types of pattern pieces to make, this is pretty much where we start. So sometimes I'll draw out how I think that it's going to happen. Um, and then I'll suggest to use maybe a slash and spread method after she has draped this front bodice piece. And then she's going to spread it out. Ultimately, she's gonna end up having a piece like this, a piece that looks like this, and then the back piece that has some princess uh, darts, I guess, in the back, not exactly princess seams. And so then I gave her the measurements that we're working with, and she moves forward with making the garment. So because we're going to be using some pretty stiff, um, and this is relatively expensive fabric that doesn't have a lot of stretch to it, we're gonna make this mock-up version first. My measurements aren't exactly the same, um, but we are gonna kinda try it on just to see um, what the differentiation looks like to make sure that everything is just hanging correctly because we can make small fit adjustments as we move forward with the final garment but big uh, big issues big kinks need to be kind of worked out especially with difficult pleats like this we just want to make sure that everything lays nicely
Okay, so at this point you can really start to see our pattern pieces starting to take shape. So we've got our side seams, we've got our neckline, our shoulder seam, our armhole, and then our side seam again. We're going to hold off on doing this under panel first so that we can really see like is this too short, is it too long. But first what we are going to do is take our back panel, which we have so nice like this. So you can see what I accidentally did was I sewed the darts on the wrong side of this muslin, but honestly because it's a mock-up it really doesn't matter. So normally when we go to our fashion fabric we are going to be stitching it right sides together. That's not necessarily possible at this moment because of where I did the darts. I could take them out, seam rip them, and do them on the other side, but again, it's just a practice version. So I care more about the pleats on the other side showing. So we're going to stitch this side together, about to right here actually, because we're going to leave an opening for our zipper to go in, and we're going to stitch the shoulder seam and this entire side seam together. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now we essentially have a little dress all put together. And so usually we'll have the model here to do our fitting, which is something that we'll ultimately do anyways, but she couldn't come today, so that's okay. So next week you'll be able to see some of the fit adjustments that we actually made, but let's go ahead and put this onto the dress form, shall we? So luckily, the dress form is actually very similar in size to my model, so this dress form waist is actually about 30, so her waist is a little bit smaller, her bust is just a little bit smaller, so essentially, if it's not too tight on this dress form or looking crazy, we can still kind of make our fit adjustments. Okay, so I guess this dress form is too big, so we're going to try our smaller one. <laughs> okay, so I definitely did another video of putting it on my mannequin, um, but accidentally did it in slow motion, so you have no idea what I said. <laughs> um, so it's on the dress form now, and you can see that immediately right off the bat we have some things that we need to correct. It looks like our dart placement is extended a little bit too far into the bust, so even though the bust isn't the same as what my model is, it's still just visually extending like way too far. Um, it looks like maybe they're a little uneven. And then overall, if you're noticing that your pleats don't lay as softly and as like fluidly as, I mean they should whenever you think about pleats, usually something happened um, to where the grain line is off. So that just is, you know, another call back to the fact that you need to be really careful about how your grain line goes um, so that your pleats fold really nicely. So join us next week as we make some of these fit adjustments to the paper patterns that are already existing and then ultimately move towards cutting it out of our fashion fabric. So this is something that you're interested in, you must come back and see me next Friday at noon for our newest video. So as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all next week.